Okay, this is the guide for how to make the microwave as part of the Inventor PowerPoint series. So once you open up Inventor, all you need to do is click on New and then Standard MMIPT, which is this one in million years, and hit Create once it opens up. Then it's a case of we're just going to follow the PowerPoint that's in the Shared Drive Technical Inventor PowerPoint, so the first one, the microwave one. Um, it does take you through step by step. It explains the difference between a left and a right click mouse button um, as well. So make sure you definitely read that bit. And if you click on the wrong tool along the top at any point, you can always press escape to exit that tool. So once we're in a new part, you're just going to click on create 2D sketch. Choose any of the bits of paper. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. And now we're into sketch mode now. Um, for the very start, it just gets you to draw the shape. It doesn't ask you to um, do anything other than just draw the base shape. Um, try and make sure your lines are nice and straight. Um, and that's just taking time and being careful with your mouse. So you can see I'm just copying the shape that was drawn. Now you'll know you're in line when you've got this dotted line. It shows you're in line, so I just need it straight. And that's when I've got the shape that you're asked to create um, on the slides. So that's like slide five and six. Now, after that, we need to put some dimensions on this. So we can just click on the dimension tool, click on the line we want to set the size of, and then click above it. And the first one's going to be 90. Now, if it disappears, you just on your keyboard above the arrow keys, there's a button that says home on it. If you press that, it just zooms out so you can see what's going on. And then I'm going to use the same process at the side. So that was just click on the line, click on the outside. So again, click on the line, click outside it. And then I can say that's going to be 55. And then the last one is this one down here. And this one is 70. Uh, ooh. If you get this, it means your lines were not connected. So if I undo that, you can see there's a gap um, for that line. So we need to make sure all your lines always connect. So to go back, just press the back button here and you can draw a line again. Just gonna make sure it's green at that end and green at that end, there we go. Now, if I dimension this and I click the side here, 55 and this one here, 70. Now you can see I have it all the shape with no gaps and we want it so it's got no gaps. Once you've done that, we we'll click Finish Sketch to come out of the draw mode, and we're going to extrude this to make it 3D. Now, when it, when you click this, it might on your screen just have the menu hidden like this. If that's the case, all you need to do is press this wee arrow. Then you can type in what size you want it to be. Hit OK, and that's you need the base shape for our microwave. Now. After you've done that, what we'd like to do is look at, okay, what's the next thing we can add, which is going to be the door on the front of the microwave. So I'm just going to right click on the front of the microwave and press new sketch. I'm then going to draw the rectangle tool, a rectangle on the bottom here. Again, it just says like, just, just draw the shape or whatever it sizes afterwards. Now, for this one, we have the sizes, checking the PowerPoint, this one here is 60, this one here is 40, and then we need to position this box in the middle of this panel. So to do that, I'm just clicking on the top of the box I've drawn, click on the top edge of the microwave, and then that will allow me to get a dimension of how far away is it. If I put five, then it's the same top and bottom. So I'm going to do the same with this side. So I'm going to click on the side of the box that I've drawn, this side of the microwave, and then just go up to the top, like five. So that's when I've got my dimensions there. I can now do extrude this one here by two millimeters and that's when I've got like the the glass screen bit that you would have on a microwave and after that the next stage we want to do is on this side panel here 
right click new sketch and I'm just going to draw um, two things here the um, button for opening up the um, microwave and also the um, Wii digital display so if I draw a box at the top now for this one if I want to be clever rather than trying to type in the sizes after I can actually do it beforehand so typing in 15 has changed in that measurement and then I want this one to be 10 so I'm just going to use the tab key that's the key above the caps lock on the left hand side and then I can type in 10 and that's when I've got the box that's the right size it's not positioned in the right place but it is the correct size uh, now same for this one at the bottom it's 15 by 5 and that's when I've got the two shapes so I can just use the dimension tool again and say well how far away from the top has it got to be if you look at the PowerPoint very carefully it says it's to be 2.5 millimeters and then from the edge here so click there and um, again double checking the sizes on the, the sheet it says it should be 2.5 and the bottom one is the exact same 2.5 and then from here to here 2.5 that's when I made those two shapes so if I go finish sketch and I'm going to extrude these out um, when I hit extrude I want to know what do I want to extrude so I need to pick both the boxes at the same time I need to change it to 0 0.5 Okay, there, and that's just now got those two boxes sticking out at the side of the um, doorway to get into the um, microwave. So, once you've completed that stage, the next thing we need to do is draw in the circle buttons. So, I'm just going to right click on here, new sketch, I'm then going to use the Home tool, I'm just using a pan tool to get in the middle of the screen to make it easier for you. So the circle tool, click once to get in the middle of the circle and put the mouse out to make it bigger. Uh, I'm going to read the, the sheet and see that it says I have to draw a circle that's five millimeters. And it then says it's to be 2.5 away from this edge here. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the dot in the middle of the circle and the line at the side of the screen I'm going to go 2.5 and then the next dimension is um, from the middle of the circle to the top of the microwave and that one should be 20 and uh, once you've done that is the case of finish sketch extrude and this time instead of us having a select it because there's only one thing it's like oh okay I know what you want to do and I can hit OK there to get it so that it's got the button now the good news is we need to have four buttons but there's a cheat there's an easy way to do it which is using the array tool which is um to get patterns so it's this button here and you just go array and it says what do you want to copy and i'm just going to do this extrusion for it. that's that circle there then it says what direction do you want to go in now on the powerpoint it says do one that way and it says okay once you've picked your direction how far apart do you want them to be and we want it to be 10 so that's the gap between the patterns but I want to do another two so I've chose a second direction button I'll choose this arrow and if it goes up the wrong way you just press the reflip button here it goes down the way I want it 10 I want two that's all perfect yeah okay voila we now have four buttons and the slide on the powerpoint um, does say i think it's slide 28 that says okay here you go this is what it should look like now and you should have exactly the same as what's on mine after that now the next stage is starting to add some little details so like for the buttons it's just saying okay let's let's make it so they're a wee bit rounded um so i'm going to use the chamfer tool and i'm going to set the distance to 0 0.5 and then I'm just going to click on the edge of each of my 
circles here and you can see it just takes a wee chamfer which is just a 45 degree angle of the corners uh, or the edge to then make it so there we go got nice wee rounded buttons uh, the next thing I want to do is start to think okay what materials um, do I want it to have so I can do lots of different things um, just now it's just shaded as the default grey but we can make it particular colours so if you right click on the surface uh, and go to properties we can change what it looks like so we can choose anything that we wish um, so I'm going to go for black and hit OK now um, don't worry if it's reflecting anything at the minute um, sometimes you see a guy on a motorbike that's okay um, now I'm just selecting these edges so I can make those black as well uh, rather than trying to click on all at the same time I'm just holding the control key on the keyboard and that allows me to um, select multiple th things if I hold control and click on each face if I go black that's all the edges now black on the microwave um, after that um, and naturally you could go around your, your whole microwave changing the different colours to make different bits pop or stand out. Um, now there's one more thing I want to show you how to do which is on this screen here we can add a bit more detail because it's a wee bit boring at the minute. So I'm going to just use the rectangle tool again. Draw a rectangle. Now again if you look at the sheet um, the sheet, the PowerPoint, you can see that this one should be 12 and 6 uh, as, the answer, as the sizes that it should be. And then for the dimensions, again, it's going to be from the top and the top of the box. And if the dimension is not quite going where you want it to go, just press escape, start again. Come on, and when you come out, this it. Thank you very much. So the distance from the top is 2, and the distance from the side is 1.5. Uh, once you've done that, we're going to finish sketching, we're going to extrude that and subtract it away. Now to do that, we go extrude, if you click on the face, and you can see it's sticking out. Now we only want it to go by 0 0.5, but we don't want it sticking out. We want it to go in the way. So if we do that, you can see, okay, now it's subtracting material. It's trying to subtract the material out of the shape. So if I press the wee flip button, it now goes into the shape, and you can see it's making like this wee indent. I can hit OK on the other. Now the last bit um, we're getting towards is, well, how do you add text to be like full power on? And that's just the text tool. So you can use the text tool, draw a text box, type in full power. And now we may need to change the font size, make it smaller, which is just this size here. And that's just got the same full power. Press escape, then I can full power to whatever I want it on here and then once you've done that we can hit finish edge so now got full power now you, you can like the last two slides of the powerpoint uh, change the colors of the whole microwave to make it look different I um, hope that was helpful hope that was nice and clear remember you can always pause and rewind and rewatch bits if you're not sure how to do a stage um, if you complete this one, I'd like you to try the next one, exercise 2 from the Should Drive, all by yourself.